during the 99 Lazada sale, I bought a lot of budget equipment to improve the home studio. And this might be the one item that I was most excited for. This is the Andor Mini Shotgun Microphone, and it looks like it's going to be my new voiceover mic. Let's get it unboxed and tested out, shall we? So the Andor Mini Shotgun Microphone comes in a white, unbranded, clamshell style box. There are some product and company details on a sticker at the top, but that's hardly of any interest. Let's get the box opened up. There's a thin piece of foam to protect the insides. I hope these things are just pasted onto the inner part of the door. Under that, there's a manual. We're not going to be reading that right now unless we want this video to be 30 minutes long. There's also a packet of tasty silica gel. Don't eat this unless you want to be like me. After that, we can see everything is embedded into a foam mold to protect them from bumps during shipping. Let's take out the mic later. We'll focus on the accessories first. On the lower left, there is a white box that contains the 3.5mm audio recording jack and a TRRS breakout cable for mic and headset. This is essential if you want to use this mic and the headset with your smartphone. And at the lower right, there is the foam shield for the mic. Pretty standard. We also get a mount already attached to the mic. It's primarily made of plastic, but the cold shoe mount is made of metal for a sturdy connection to the camera or mounting hardware that you so choose. That's it for the accessories, let's take a look at the mic itself. So the Andor Mini Shotgun Mic is a 7-inch active shotgun mic that's almost entirely made of powder-coated aluminum. At the business end, we can see the chrome-plated mesh underneath the housing at the top of the mic. On one side, we can see the switch for controls. It has three settings, off, omnidirectional, and cardioid. I am primarily interested in the cardioid mode. Moving downward, there is a painted Andor logo. And at the very bottom, there is a plastic part that houses the 3.5 plug output. The mic can be opened up by screwing off the bottom part. Remember, this is an active mic, so it needs power. And that power comes in the form of a single 3 volt CR2 battery. Yes, just 3 volts, not 48 volts like regular mic phantom power. Plus, this has a 3.5mm plug, which has no power delivery. Please do note that there is no CR2 battery included with the package. That's why I bought my own pair of rechargeable CR2 batteries bundled with a little charger. I'll link it in the description as well if you want to purchase it for yourself. And that's it for the mic. Let's get it set up for testing. For testing purposes, I mounted the mic on a mini tripod and connected it via 3.5mm cable to my audio interface. I used a different cable because the one included with the mic is too short, as it was made to be used with cameras. So this far in the unboxing, you've heard me speak through my current mic setup, the Audio-Technica ATR2500 USB condenser microphone. And now you're hearing a raw recording from the Andover Mini Shotgun Microphone. I know it sounds nicer, and I know exactly why. The main reason why I bought this mic is to improve the quality of my voiceover recordings, because my condenser mic tends to pick up the noise coming from the room beside me. This is our bedroom, and also where our daughter sleeps. And she sleeps with a noise machine on, so it's always where the noise floor of my condenser mic is. Every time I record anything with this condenser mic, I have to do a lot of noise reduction just to get the quality of my voiceovers to a level that I'm happy with. So now, with the Andor Mini Shotgun Mic, I don't have to worry about those anymore because shotgun mics are directional and it will always only pick up what's directly in front of it. So yeah, that's the quality of the Andor Mini Shotgun Mic. Do you guys like it? I'm pretty happy with my purchase, considering that it was only 985 pesos, or just a little south of $20. That's pretty amazing value. This is now going to be my main voiceover mic. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Andor Mini Shotgun Mic. Do you have any questions about it that you want answered in the full review? Comment it down below and I'll do my best to answer it. While you're there, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more straight to the point videos like this. 
My previous video was my unboxing and short review of the Lazada MK07 microphone isolation shield. Have you guys seen it yet? Go watch it. It's pretty good. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.